the Karakitai, also known as the Karakatan Khanate or Western Liao, officially the Great Liao, was a Sinicized Khatan Empire in Central Asia. The dynasty was founded by Yelu Dashi, who led the remnants of the Liao dynasty to Central Asia after fleeing from the Jurchen conquest of their homeland in the north and northeast of modern-day China. The empire was usurped by the Naimans under Kuchlug in 1211. Traditional Chinese, Persian, and Arab sources considered the usurpation to be the end of the Karakitai rule. The empire was later taken by the Mongol Empire in 1218. Names Kara Katan was the name used by the kittens to refer to themselves. The phrase is often translated as the black kittens in Turkish, but its original meaning is unclear today. In Mongolian, Kara Katan is rendered. Since no direct records from the empire survive today, the only surviving historical records about the empire come from outside sources. The empire took on trappings of a Chinese state, so Chinese historians generally refer to the empire as the Western Liao dynasty, emphasizing its continuation from the Liao dynasty in north and northeast China. The Jurchens referred to the empire as Dashi or Dashi Linya, to reduce any claims the empire may have had to the old territories of the Liao dynasty. Muslim historians initially referred to the state simply as Kite or Kitai. They may have adopted this form of Katan via the Ghaz of Kocho in whose language the final N or N became Y. Only after the Mongol conquest did the state begin to be referred to in the Muslim world as the Karakitai or Karakitai. History Founding of the Karakitai Empire The Karakitai Empire was established by Yelu Dashi who led nomadic kittens west by way of Mongolia after the collapse of the Liao dynasty. The Jurchens, once vassals of the kittens, had allied with Song China and overthrown the Liao. Yalu captured Balazaun from the Karakanad Khanate in 1134, which marks the start of the empire in Central Asia. The Khatan forces were soon joined by 10,000 kittens, who had been subjects of the Karakanad Khanate. The kittens then conquered Kashgar, Khotan, and Beshbaluk. The kittens defeated the western Karakhanid Khanate at Kujand in 1137, eventually leading to their control over the Fergana Valley. They won the Battle of Katwin against the western Karakhanids and the Seljuk Empire on September 9, 1141 which allowed the kittens to gain control over Transoxian. Yalu Dashi's successors Yalu Dashi died in 1143, and his wife, Seo Tabuyan, then acted as regent for their son. Their son, Yalu Yilia, became the ruler in 1150 and died in 1163, to be succeeded by his sister, Yalu Pujuan. She sent her husband, Seo Duolubu, on many military campaigns. She then fell in love with his younger brother, Seo Fuguji. They were executed in 1177 by her father-in-law, Seo Walila, who then placed Yelu Jilagu on the throne in 1178. The empire was weakened by rebellions and internal wars among its vassals, especially during the latter parts of its history. Kuchlug's usurpation and end of the Khanate in 1208, a Nyman prince, Kuchlug, fled his homeland after being defeated by Mongols. Kuchlug was welcomed into the empire of the Kara Kittens, and was allowed to marry Jilagu's daughter. However, in 1211, Kuchlug revolted, and later captured Yelu Jilagu while the latter was hunting. Jilagu was allowed to remain as the nominal ruler, but died two years later, and many historians regarded his death as the end of the Kara Katan Empire. In 1216, Genghis Khan dispatched his general Jebba to pursue Kuchlug. Kuchlug fled, but in 1218, he was finally captured and decapitated. The Mongols fully conquered the former territories of the Kara Kittens in 1220. Aftermath the Kara Kitais became absorbed into the Mongol Empire. A segment of the Kara Katan troops had previously already joined the Mongol army, fighting against Kuchlug. Another segment of the Kara Kittens, in a dynasty founded by Burak Hajib, survived in Kerman as a vassal of the Mongols. 
but ceased to exist as an entity during the reign of Ulgeritu of the Ilkhanate. The Kara Kittens were dispersed widely all over Eurasia as part of the Mongol army. In the 14th century, they began to lose their ethnic identity. Traces of their presence however may be found as clan names or toponyms from Afghanistan to Moldova. Today Akite tribe still lives in northern Kyrgyzstan. Administration The Kittens ruled from their capital at Balazaun, directly controlling the central region of the empire. The rest of their empire consisted of highly autonomous vassalized states, primarily Khwarezm, the Karluks, the kingdom of Karcho of the Uyghurs the Kankli, and the western, eastern, and Ferganakara Khanids. The late arriving Naimans also became vassals, before usurping the empire under Kuchlug. The Khatan rulers adopted many administrative elements from the Liao dynasty, including the use of Confucian administration and imperial trappings. The empire also adopted the title of Gurkhan. The Kittens used the Chinese calendar, maintained Chinese imperial and administrative titles, gave its emperor's reign names, used Chinese-styled coins, and sent imperial seals to its vassals. Although most of its administrative titles were derived from Chinese, the empire also adopted local administrative titles such as Taiyangyu and Vizia. The Kittens maintained their old customs, even in Central Asia. They remained nomads, adhered to their traditional dress, and maintained the religious practices followed by the Liao dynasty Kittens. The ruling elite tried to maintain the traditional marriages between the Yelu King clan and the Seo Queen clan, and were highly reluctant to allow their princesses to marry outsiders. The Kara Kitai kittens followed a mix of Buddhism and traditional Katan religion, which included fire worship and tribal customs, such as the tradition of sacrificing a grey ox with a white horse. In an innovation unique to the Kara Kitai, the kittens paid their soldiers a salary. The empire ruled over a diverse population that was quite different from its rulers. The majority of the population was sedentary, although the population suddenly became more nomadic during the end of the empire, due to the influx of Naimans. The majority of their subjects were Muslims, although a significant minority practiced Buddhism and Nestorianism. Although Chinese and Khatan were the primary languages of administration, the empire also administered in Persian and Uyghur, association with China. After the Tang dynasty, non-Han Chinese empires gained prestige by connecting themselves with China using the title of Chinese emperor. The Khatan ruler was called the Khan of Qin, and the Karakitai used the image of China to legitimize their ruler to the Central Asian Muslims. The Chinese emperor, together with the rulers of the Turks, Arabs, India and Byzantium, were known to Islamic writers as the world's five great kings. The Khatan Karakitai Empire in Central Asia kept the trappings of a Chinese state, such as Chinese coins, the Chinese writing system, tablets, seals, and used Chinese products like porcelain, mirrors, jade and other Chinese customs. The adherence to Liao Chinese traditions has been suggested as a reason why the Karakitai did not convert to Islam. The Chinese characteristics appeal to Central Asian Muslims and helped validate Karakita rule over them. Despite the fact that there were comparatively few Han Chinese among the population of the Karakatan, these Han Chinese had lived in Kedun during the Liao dynasty, and in 1124 migrated with the Kittens under Yalu Dashi along with other people of Kedun, such as Bohai, Jurchen, Mongol tribes, Katan. In addition to the Seo consort clan, Karakatai's rule over Muslim Central Asia has the effect of reinforcing the view among some Muslim writers that Central Asia was linked to China a few hundred years after the Tang dynasty had lost control of the region. 
Marwazi wrote that Transoxania was a former part of China, while Faik al-Din Mubarak Shah defined China as part of Turkestan, and the cities of Balazarhan and Kashgar were considered part of China. Legacy The association of Kitai with China meant that the most enduring trace of the Khitan's power and names derived from it, such as Cathay, which is the medieval Latin appellation for China. Names derived from Kitai are still current in many modern usage, such as the Russian, Bulgarian, Uzbek and Mongolian name for China. However, the use of the name Kitai to mean China or Chinese by Turkic speakers within China, such as the Uyghurs, is considered pejorative by the Chinese authority who had tried to ban it. Sovereigns of Kara Kitai Gallery Kara Kitai